All right, so we're on chapter five now. And this is one of the few times in the solar run where it's just, it's, it's just nothing. It's just nothing. <laughs> um, and I mean that very literally. I'm gonna trade to there. Um, actually, no. I'm just gonna keep that as is. Um, the only thing you have to make sure of here is that the items you need, like the elixir and the vulneraries and stuff, are with your main crew, i.e. not uh, Shinin and Gatray. Uh, Shinin's dead, as you saw in Chapter 4, which is fine. We, we don't care. Um, and he doesn't have anything we need, so we're good. Um, what we're going to be doing... Actually, no, I'm going to give that to Boyd. No. I'm bugging. Okay. Um... Just for the hell of it, take three. And we're just gonna hide everyone in the corner, pretty much. Behind uh, Gatri and Titania. It's gonna be very boring. Um, but you kinda have to play this one boring for a few reasons. Um, the main reason being that you need to save weapons for the next two chapters, especially. And that's more important than anything else. Um, also worth noting is your Ike may or may be a little higher level than mine, maybe a little lower level, depending on if you worried about killing every enemy you saw. But he's either way, he should be pretty close to max. So the XP here is also not an issue. Um, so I'll probably edit a lot of this out just because it's this is one of the very boring chapters, and that's okay. But we're playing optimally. Now, I believe there's one guy with a hammer. Um, who should come from the... I think that's him right there. Uh, another reason why we kind of don't want to kill a bunch of people with Ike here, too, is because if we clear out too many guys, then eventually the hammer guy is going to go for Gatri. Because there'll just, there'll just be enough room for them to all charge in. And we don't want that either. So, that would, uh, that would throw off the vibe, for sure. Okay, yeah, so it is this guy here, but these guys won't do anything different but attack, and he's not really gonna take damage, so... We don't really need to heal, we're just gonna wait again. Archers are actually doing damage. Not much, though. We might, low-key, maybe get a level up just from dodging hits and stuff. But yeah, I mean, there's there's going to be a few chapters like this. Um, not many, but it happens every so often in a solo run. Don't stress about it too much. If you've seen uh, the video by Bismix about Path of Radiance... And he, he, I, I'd played the game like multiple times through before I saw his video, or before I even, before the video was even made, really. Um, and he makes a joke, he's like, oh, I go in enemy phase, one sec guys, I'm gonna go grab lunch. And then like, two minutes later in the video, he comes back like eating McDonald's or something, he's like, oh, it's still going on. <laughs> that, that's what it feels like sometimes with these things. <laughs> it actually just goes forever with these animations. Thank God. Radiant Dawn stepped it up a little bit with that stuff. Still can't skip the whole enemy phase in Radiant Dawn, but it's definitely goes by faster, which is a godsend for uh, much bigger maps and stuff like that with a lot more enemies on. This is the last turn, so we should just be perfectly fine. No one's going to die. And we're all set with items. So, yeah, nothing really else to say. All right, that's the end of that. The boss there drops an Ashura icon for luck stat, but even even if you were to plow through all those enemies and stuff, he still wouldn't reach Ike anyway. And you really don't need a a luck item, so don't even don't even bother with that. Okay, so chapter six. This one can get a little little weird. Everybody is forced except for Shining and Gatri. So. What we're gonna do, basically, is 
hide everyone in the top left corner. And we're gonna take Ike down the left side. I like to do the left side just because sometimes it's a little faster. I mean, by the time you get around here and like these guys are cleared out, usually you'll get the dialogue thing with him and all these dudes will flood over anyways. But at least you're not going into like all of this at once with the mage and everything. You could do it. You could do it. Um, but I usually just find it's not worth. So as long as you stay in these bushes, you're fine. Like as long as you end your turn in the bushes, you're fine. Um, I'll show you here in a sec. You can actually, like with a cab unit or something, uh, if Oscar will get close enough. You can actually go outside the bushes in front and then end on the bushes. I'll just do this for funsies. And you'll still count as hidden. As long as you end the turn um, in the bushes, you're fine. So you can do something like this. And they still won't see you, which is kind of funny. Um, so here, as you'll see, this is impassable tree, whereas these are all bushes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put Boyd in this corner, rescue Riz, and then have Oscar and Titania on these corners so that these guys can't even get hit with like bows and stuff. And then I'm just going to get Ike ready here. Uh, let's see. He does 15 damage. Our defense is 10. Okay, yeah. So we are going to kill him first. Let me see. And then I'm just going to do a quick check, see if anybody drops weapons. We don't care about a poleaxe or a short spear. There is a Vuln drop, but we should have space for that. Okay, and the poleaxe again. Okay. Alright, so we have space for the Vuln. That's good. That's all we really need to do. Actually, just in case... Oh, wait. Who has the sword? Boyd has the swords. Okay. Just in case, because it would be cringe to run out of weapons up here. Oh, we're just going to do that ahead of time. And I normally don't go until I have everything set up. There's no rush. Because uh, I actually don't plan to use bonus XP at all on this run. I forgot to mention that early. But, uh... I'm almost there. Okay. Bonus XP in an Ike solo run kind of doesn't matter. Um, mainly because you'll pretty much have him maxed by the time you unlock bonus XP to begin with, which is one point. And then the second thing is once he promotes, I'm going to do that just so he's dead for sure. Once he promotes, he'll get XP so fast anyways, it kind of doesn't even matter. Um, you can give him all the bonus XP in the world on chapter 18 after he promotes if you want to. Or you can just watch him probably go to, like, level 10 in that first level anyways. And most of his important stats will cap, like, strength, speed, skill, defense. Because um, you have to keep in mind as well, you'll probably have a bunch of status items. Or stat items, not status items. Uh, just waiting around for that time, too. So, it's the difference is going to be pretty small, no matter what. Alright, I'm glad I did the steel sword. Oh, one off from killing that guy. He's, he's gonna get healed, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. Okay. So, general rule. This is gonna become a more prominent uh, concept as we go on here. And this is more so to save time than anything else. Uh, in an Ike solo run... Usually, you want to kill the dudes that attack you at two range, because these guys are all going to attack you on enemy phase no matter what you do. Um, and you're going to have to basically dedicate your turn to killing one of the enemy units that attacks from two range, pretty much every time. Um, which can be annoying, but it doesn't necessarily make it harder. Um, it, just, it just makes it take longer, so by doing that on your turn, it can help you multitask. Because uh, it'll take care of the one range enemies 
on enemy turn. Alright, someone's someone is getting healed here. It might be us, <laughs> actually. We might heal. Oh god, uh, dude. Alright, the interesting thing about this predicament here is we're gonna heal and both of these guys actually no he's got a vuln hmm. i'll take six from him i'll take two from him and i'll take four or five i guess with the the weapon triangle bonus right, it's five yeah it is five okay so it'll be five from him Six from him, six from him, or five from him, two from him. Hmm. I would love to heal this turn. Because I don't think, it's not worth it, trying to kill them. They'll both, oh, they're just going to trade the vulnerary around. Oh, good lord. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a good dodge. It's a really good dodge. This, we don't really care if it hits or not. That's, that's nothing. Mm. Oh, if he had, dude, if he had one more strength. Oh. Alright, we're gonna switch Iron Sword now. Now you crit. <laughs> okay, Ike. Very cool, man. <laughs> Very cool, dude. Alright. Oh, big dodge again. Let's go. <sighs> okay. That's good, though. Because we should... He didn't heal him. Wow, that's very interesting. He's a third health. All right, well, that's an easy choice. We won't die here, no matter what. Sheesh. All right. I can't one round him. I'll do that just to save me the headache. Please get strength. And defense, honestly. Alright, he got one. I'll take that. Our speed is cracked, though. Oh. Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> Alright. So we're actually gonna go over here. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we we have to we have to kill him on this next turn. So he's gonna chase us everywhere. Oh, we're still one off from one rounding with an iron sword. It's unfortunate. Okay. Now you should attack us. I went more so to the left just so that no one else would aggro me. Just because this dude's going to be very annoying. And I would love to attack him now. It's probably fine. I'm going to do it anyway. But if he does hit both times, we're screwed. All right, we're fine. 25% hit chance, I'll take that gamble. Over being boring, you know. Oh, he's, oh, look at him. Look who's running now. Can I, oh, so close. Mm. I guess, yeah, we'll use it for its intended purpose. Okay. So, as you can see, 
this dialogue thing is not triggered by turn count or anything like that. I'm on turn 18. This is way past any kind of bonus XP or, you know, what have you. It's activated once you cross a certain threshold on the map. And it's probably like a diagonal, like around here-ish. Somewhere in there. I don't know the exact tile. Um, and that's a concept that is uh, present in a lot of chapters. So we're just going to basically full heal up before we cross that line. And we're just gonna, gonna go nuts, pretty much. All right. We're gonna have the Regal Sword because we're gonna take a bunch of hits and hopefully, hopefully, yeah, the, there's the dialogue prompt. When these uh, horsemen come, we'll just be able to one round them and not have to worry about it too much. Okay. This is another thing to watch out for, is this mage. He has 9 attack, which is low, but it depends on uh, how good your Ike has been getting resistance up till now. Yeah, he can almost one-shot him too. Because I've had runs where that mage at this point in the game does no damage to me, and I've also had runs where he does, like, 8 damage. So, uh, something to note, I'm gonna kill him. Because I don't think I'll die from all this other stuff. And he's going to keep attacking me from two range if I don't kill him now. So just save, save myself the headache. And I think even if you got hit by everything, it would probably be pretty close as to whether or not you would die or not. Um, but a lot of these guys have really terrible hit rates. And with your current level, you should be just fine to... Plant yourself right in front of the boss. Trade some hits. Kill some people on enemy phase. Alright, and I think... I could be wrong. But I think... This soldier on my right... Has the vulnerary that drops. We'll, we'll have to see. And if he does, we're going to kill him first. Just so uh, they don't trade it around and we lose it. That would be very annoying. Because otherwise, all these guys are going to heal up. Okay, very nice. Defense, defense, defense. Got the Roy level up again. Come on, Ike, you're better than that. Oh, there's the Vuln right there. Beautiful, okay. Hmm. Now, they have a healer here. So if they run away, we really don't care. Now, if we were to attack him here, we could kill him. Um, but I don't remember, off the top of my head, if someone will move onto that space. I'm pretty sure they do. Because I seem to recall a run where I killed the boss on my turn. And then everyone was bugging. And I was like, oh no, like, someone's gonna end up on that space. So the mage moved onto that space, attacked me from one range, and of course I killed it, and I could escape, so it didn't matter. But it, it kind of, uh, kind of scared me for a second. So I'm gonna heal, and we're just gonna take a few more shots at the boss. He shouldn't try to heal at this, uh, at this stage here. That's just from the tile. He should attack. Okay, good. Traded it to somebody else. It's one less attack we're taking this turn. Good dodge. Perfect. Hmm, okay. Now let's see if these, uh... These horses attack me, or if they go toward the priest? Kind of hope they just suicide into me. That would make things a little easier, I think. There's also another mage. Forgot about him, actually. All right, they're just trading around. That's fine. That is honestly fine. Because now they don't have it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, priest did show up, though. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, depending on where your health is at this point, uh, you can make the call whether to heal or not. So I'm taking two damage from that mage. Not worried about that. Taking like five from that horse if he hits. His hit is 85 though. My avoid's 55. Plus, plus the weapon triangle. Cause like, look at this. Am I really stressed about this guy with 20 hit? No, not really. But he, meanwhile, he's doing eight to me a turn. This guy's doing six. And again, they all have pretty terrible hit rates. Hmm. I'm just worried the boss will take a Vaughn from him. Because the Vaughn over here is gone. But, as a general rule, it's better to take it slow. Because I think this whole area will be too clogged up for the priest to heal the boss. Um, so at least he won't get like huge heals. Like a Vuln is annoying, but like it's not the end of the world. And if I keep weakening these other guys, eventually they'll take the Vuln from him, probably. So, not, it's not too big a deal. Uh, but we should have these horses out of the way pretty soon here too. I should have equipped the Regal Sword. Actually, that, yeah, that is what I should have done. Unfortunately. Okay. I don't know why he attacked from one range. That's kind of weird. But he missed and died, so that's good. I think that mage is bugged, because that's probably the same mage I was talking about earlier. That's so weird. Oh, like if you had one more point of strength, man. Oh. God damn, he keeps doing this to me. I'm in pain. Actually, you know what? Oh, I still don't. I still don't like being at that low health. Oh man. Seriously though, if I had one more point of strength, this would have been over already, which is very sad. Very very sad. That still won't kill him because he gets three heals on his turn. I'm just going to equip the Regal Sword, which I should have done last turn, to be honest. And, uh... Alright, he's, he's going to full heal. Okay. Well. Oh, man. Come on, Ike. We don't have a lot more Vaughns, man. Good God. Even with the Regal Sword, dude? Oh, my. Dude. I don't know why that guy didn't attack. That was weird. Dude, Oscar might die. If he's not careful. Okay, at least he's dead. Jesus. Don't care about that. And he didn't even attack me. I'm just gonna go for this. We, we need these guys out of here. I'm so sick of them. Watching them heal. Oi. Alright, he should die. Because we have Regal sort of equipped now. Because the iron one broke. 
I'm hoping for like a crit on the boss or something something ridiculous. That would be nice. Oh god. Like please. And Oscar, you need to live, my friend. I think the boss will still attack us. Cause I don't think he has a Vaughn left. He does? Oh my god. He might not heal though. That's, it's kind of weird how they work sometimes. Oh good, okay. I was actually stressing because I was thinking that uh, those were all the Vaughns I had, but I didn't realize Titania has three. That's really good, okay. All right, I'm not, I'm not stressing. I uh, am stressing a little bit over this. Because he has our elixir. So I wonder if I should just... Just do that. Maybe they go for her instead. But I absolutely cannot have... Uh, Titania or... Briss die. Oh god, Ike, please. Please get a defense, dude. I'm begging you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You needed that. And you gotta dodge, like, everything, bro. That's not an exaggeration. You have to dodge shit. Alright, let's go. Ooh, that's a huge dodge. And a huge kill. Let's go. I think that's a lock. Because... He should die. Yes, and then even if the horseman goes there, he'll die too, because we have the regal sword. And if Oscar dies, then that's very sad, because I like Oscar, but can't do much about that. Ah, oh, my boy. I'll miss you, bro. Damn, that's actually sad. But I'm glad I rescued Riss with Titania. That was a smart play, I think. Look at this clown. Oh my god, get rolled. Alright. Well, that's the end of that. And just escaping with Ike... Escapes everybody, so... Wow, that one was, uh... That was a little dicey. But... And it can be. That is one of those chapters, but... We're good. Only one more chapter until we get a convoy. Which is also very good. Um... So, we're, we're kind of chilling. Okay. So... We want to make sure that Ike has some spaces here, but is also prepared. Because, um, in case you forgot, oh, we're gonna do this, just, just in case. Um, in case you forgot, Mia comes in at the end of turn one, and she talks to you and auto joins, which is very good. Um, so... Our job is to make sure Ike has inventory space for the two swords that she carries. She also carries a Vuln. And there's a chest key up here that we also desperately need. So, actually... I'm gonna do this as well, because she gives us an iron sword um, and a slim sword. So, just for the sake of taking both at the same time. We're gonna do that, and we're just gonna go at it. We'll equip that, I guess. These guys both attack at two range, so it doesn't really matter what I'm holding. I like to put Titania, like, here, just so these guys are safe for, like, an extra turn. Um, as you'll see, Mia comes in. They're gonna attack first. She won't die. At least not on turn one, she won't die. Ok, 
Okay. Now the one with the chest key is the soldier with the lance to our left. Mia. Makes me sad that I won't be using Mia. She's like one of my favorite characters, but this is an Ike Solar run, baby. So if you die, that's uh, it's, it's very sad actually. But it's not on me. All right, so we do need a Steel Sword. This guy, he does no damage to us and has a 2% chance to hit. So unless he's in our way, we're not even gonna bother killing him really. This guy though, we need the chest key. So give me that. Let me see here. So, yeah, there we go. There's chest key. These two chests over here, you could try to book it with Ike over there if you really wanted to, but you're probably not beating the thief. And also, it's like a ward staff and a miracle scroll, which you really you just kind of don't need. Um, this, however, is very big, especially since you're starting to low key uh, be low on weapons, is an armor slayer, which is very good for this. Um, and there'll be more guys over here later. So, that's good to have. Um, what we're gonna do now is probably just start to funnel these guys up here a little bit as much as we can. And we're gonna, whoever survives, we're gonna put in that top room with the chest. And just have Titania stand out front. Clear out everybody with Ike that we can until it's like relatively safe. Um, and then we just continue on as as planned he's dead don't care i never really used him as a unit anyways i don't really think it's worth it <laughs> just my personal opinion like i remember i got him to like a bishop like one time like i did one run with him and i think that was it um it's he's just his speed is horrible, so he's, like, bad for combat, like, pretty much all the time. Mm, can I? Ooh, if I can do... Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna do this. And then... Kill him. Um, but yeah, sorry about uh, Riz. I I just never found him to be really worth it because like, I'll use him in these like early chapters as a healer. Of course, he's your only option. But very quickly, you get someone like Mist who helps in like the Black Knight fight, and you already have Soren, assuming you didn't let him die or something. And when he gets stabs, he does more healing than Riz would be doing anyways. Plus, with Miss, it's just like, who cares? You know, it's just not worth it. And at least Soren is still like a good combat unit, given the right uh, circumstances. Right, I think we triggered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Katrini, there's just <laughs> not really. Not really much we can do to save the trees. We're just gonna park him there because one of these guys has an armor slayer and he's gonna actually do damage to him. Um, we don't really care, but you know, just something to note. Um, also, these guys are safe. Like, if you stand them all around here and have someone in the front, um, unlike the GBA fire emblems and stuff like that, uh, they actually can't shoot through or over these walls. Even though, if you kind of look at it, the like, C stick, there's like still like an opening, but like. Game, game said no on that one. That's okay. It's fine with us. Okay. Preventative damage. Four, six. We kill you first. Easy peasy. And we park you right there. And I think I'd have to check his level again, but it's probably very likely that your Ike maxes out uh, during this chapter. If not this one, then pretty early on, 
um, two chapters from now. Probably not the next chapter. You'll see why when we get there. It's basically another chapter five um, where you just sit and do nothing and dodge everything. Again, very boring, but if there's no XP to be had and no items to get and anything like that, then, you know, why lose your mind over it, I guess? Oh, almost. Oh, they're all going up there. Oh, boy. Trapped in there now, brother. Actually, he might... He might survive. Low-key. Uh, maybe it's just where I placed him. But, uh, the Armor Slayer guy? Shh. Won't be able to... Won't be able to hit him unless someone... Gets, uh, weird up here. Yeah. So, he might actually live. Uh, he'll leave anyways. Because he's fake. But, it's worth noting. Alright, so here, we have a four and two sevens. We're gonna go for the seven that is more likely to hit, which is him. Yeah, easy enough. Okay. And again, watch the mages. The mages tend to be a bit of a problem. Or can potentially be a bit of a problem for you. Pretty much until Ike promotes. Uh, anytime after that, Ike is just kind of invincible to most things. He just, he's just, he just dodges everything or barely takes any damage or whatever. Uh, but these early chapters, if you didn't get any good res level ups, they can be kind of scary. Um, but you got, you got to get rid of them. Okay, good miss. Nice. This guy's just gonna keep trying, man. <laughs> he does no damage, but he's gonna keep trying. Did he just walk up slowly? Yeah, so Gatree actually is probably gonna live, which is kind of funny. Alright, so we're gonna. We're actually gonna wrap around here. Hold up, 23. He, yeah, so he has 12 attack, and we have 6 uh, resistance. Something to note. We should be fine. But again, just keep it in mind. Because if your Ike had like two res or something right now, this dude would be very, very scary. Oh, nice miss, brother. tree I'm gonna do it again <laughs> all right three four kill the four wait oh I'm an idiot <laughs> I thought they were both low why did he not attack me this dude's weird I just assumed that they both did Wow, okay. Very strange. Now he's running away. Probably to trade a vulnerary around like it's a blunt. <laughs> These dudes are bugging. I'm kind of bugging too, to be honest. Alright, yeah. And that thief is probably... If he doesn't try to escape now... He's probably just going to stand in front of Titania until we kill him. Uh, or when that chest gets taken or whatever. Alright, at least we still got a kill out of it. Alright, defense, bro, please. Oh, that's perfect. Strength, defense, and res. That's perfect. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to kill you. Because you actually pose a threat. Nice. This thief might just run away. Um, excuse me. He might just run away. If he can't get to that chest. Um, they exit off 
the right side. There's really no reason to kill him unless... I mean, actually, yeah, there would be no reason. Because he goes for those chests first. Even if he got the Armor Slayer somehow before you, you still wouldn't be able to get it from him. Um, so, yeah. It's it's one, one less guy you gotta kill. One less guy you gotta waste weapons on. All that stuff. He wouldn't give you XP anyways. Um, this guy, however... It's finally time for him to die. So this is a route map, unfortunately. All right, there we go. He's out. Okay. So let me check. Where is he? Right, right here. Wait, 17. Hmm. Yeah, so what we're gonna do... We're gonna do this. And we don't really need the Armor Slayer so much. So we're actually just going to get Titania to do that for us while we take care of other business. Um, we're just going to use the Regal Sword. That way there's no speed penalty or anything like that. Doesn't really matter too much um, in the end anyways. Because by the time we get to a level where there's like a lot of horsemen that we have to take care of, which would be chapter 17, pretty much. Unless I'm forgetting one, but I don't think I am. Um, we won't have the Regal Sword with us, anyways. Like, it'll be broken, or uh, more likely, we'll just have better weapons with us. Uh, ooh, so I could kill him. I'm just gonna do that. Nice. Okay, she has space, that's very good. We get to save one chest key for later, which is also very good. Alright, we'll be able to kill this guy on our turn. They all gotta get their hit in. Their weapons might break by the time I get over there. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I forgot their hit rates are also trash. <laughs> so, oh man. Uh, do I waste another regal on this, or do I go? Ah, <sighs> yeah. The steel sword still has one more point of damage if there's no bonus damage involved. So. May as well. Dude, your tree's gonna level up. <laughs> Alrighty. So this guy, I believe, has a javelin. No, he does not. Okay. I was gonna say, but he shouldn't move from this door. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna keep the regal sword up just because it'll kill him and then in case these guys start falling in I'll uh, have some effective damage so that steel sword we have is about to break and that is not good Oh, I forgot about him. I'll have to check if he even does damage to us. Okay. Dead. Should have a few of them funnel in here. Oh, another chest. Ooh, that's, that's very good, too. Always good to have extra chest keys. Don't care.
Okay. Let's see, do I one round this guy? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I guess so. Nice. Right, this guy probably not with that elf. Never mind, Ike is just the crit machine. Good lord, man. Relax, dude. But this is this is going very nicely. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, you're cracked. What the fuck? Dude, Ike is pissed. I love it. All right. Kill the two range on our turn because we are smart. Katri's gonna level up here in a sec. <laughs> oh yeah, he has a steel bow, so he'll do a little bit of chip damage, but. Oh, my bad. And of course, this dude is gonna keep attacking from two range as well, which is annoying. Alright. So now... Oh, no, I didn't... I don't want to talk to Katri. Um... Oh, God. What, what do I want to do here? It's between these two, but I'm trying to think, like... Because it's going to be two on that... Then we're only going to have a few for these guys. I think we just do this steal. Hmm. Okay, and I'm actually I'm actually going to leave the tree there. I'm going to give him his one level up. Go crazy, bro. Oh, he got speed. That's hilarious. All right. <laughs> What's your speed growth? Like 20? 15? It's something just horrendous. All right, now we move you here. You don't have anything I want. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to preserve the Regal Sword until I know I'm fighting the Knights. It's good that he attacked first. I'm gonna use one use of the steel here. And then we're going to switch to probably Slim, I guess. Still doing 13 damage. The Slim Sword. Wow. There we go. Alright, this worked out perfect. Oh, you know what? I could have done. I could have done something else, but uh, this is fine. Oh, nice two damage, bro. You're crazy. You're cracked. Absolutely cracked. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad I saved the regal for this, because. Uh... Oh, oh my god. Hold on. I gotta make sure Ike doesn't die from this next hit. That would be cringe. Steel land. Uh oh. 19 does 7 plus. Alright, so he's do he's doing 8 damage. That's fine. Could have been a little scary. He misses, anyways. You, you sometimes, man, you just stress over nothing. I forget that Ike is the goat. How could I forget? Alright. Last Regal Sword. Oh, wait, actually, no. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna save it. All right, so we're gonna stand here. That guy has a javelin. Uh, let me see. He does seven to us. He does six. I should kill him. Let 
Miss, 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 miss. Oh. Sedge. Alright. So what did he say? He does seven and the other guy does what? Six? Oh, so they could perfectly kill me. Instead. Oh no. Did my ROM fucking die? Oh no. Okay, we're back. I just basically redid the chapter up until these last few guys. I don't know what happened. Um, it's weird because on GBA emulators, I've had that happen before too, where my whole PC just freezes. And you can run that shit on an iPhone. Like, this is not a garbage PC. Like, I built this this year. Um, but I noticed it was very weird. It only happened in full screen. And I've since, like, re-downloaded the same GBA emulators because I want to stream Binding Blade. Um, but ever since I've re-downloaded it and not played in full screen, I haven't had any problems. And even now on Dolphin, I feel like it's running smoother uh, here. You can't tell because of how I have the overlay in OBS or whatever, but... I don't know, man. That's weird to me. I, I don't know. I changed some settings around in, like, the NVIDIA control panel. Um, and stuff like that. Maybe maybe there's a slight difference. Um, but if this makes it easier for recording and stuff, then that's what we're going to do. Right, th this is about exactly where we were last time. So I'm just going to stand here. The only difference with this run-through is Gatri actually died. And the only reason that happened is because the turn he came in, I forgot to move him. So he got hit by the Armor Slayer guy a bunch of times, but it doesn't really matter. Everything else is the same. Riz still died. Uh, Titania, Mia, and Boyd are still alive. Uh, I did have to use the Armor Slayer once. But uh, other than that, it's... The differences are very, very little. Um, I think I got a skill level up this time, but I didn't get a defense level up, if I remember right. Um, I think both times I got a res and maybe a strength or something. I think we had 18 speed both times regardless, so. Not much is different. Oh, and I still don't even one round this guy with the armor slayer. Okay. Oh, and he doesn't move. Okay, even though he has a two range weapon, he does not move. Uh, well, that was uh, a little exhausting. Because I had to do that twice. But it's fine. We're not going to watch the cutscenes. Goodbye, Gatree. Goodbye, Ike's dad. Mm -hmm.